progressively warm up the body with a six minute dynamic warm up. We're gonna have six warm up exercises, each for one minute a piece. So we're gonna start stationary with an alternating T spine rotation. Feet are hip width apart. You're gonna hinge at your hips, keep your core tight, opening up one arm at a time, and you're gonna follow your fingertips with your eyes. From there, we're gonna come into an upright position for knees to elbows, fingertips by the ears, elbows nice and wide, but our core is tight and engaged, driving the knee up to meet the opposite elbow, slow and controlled. From there, we're gonna take it to a standing star reach. So your arms are nice and wide and your feet are nice and wide. You're gonna drive your hips back as you reach your fingertips over to the toes. Again, keeping that core tight and your chest nice and tall. Progressing from here, we're gonna take it to toy soldiers. So your arms are Frankenstein out and you're kicking your toes up towards your fingertips. You wanna kick as high as you can without crunching forward. Stay nice and tall and upright. From there, even more dynamic, we're gonna move into mimicking a jump rope. So you're light on your feet, you're alternating side to side and you're bringing your arms into the equation. We're gonna finish the warm up with our most dynamic move yet, the power skip. So you're gonna drive the knee and the opposite arm up as you explode off the ground and get that body ready for our next block. All right, Didi, we ready to warm up? Ready. Let's do it. I'm fighting for what I'm working towards 
is going to mimic some of that interval training that I know you are missing inside of our studio. A little bit of a unique format. It's Tabata style, which means 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest, and we have six different exercises. It's also a takeaway. So you're going to start by performing all six exercises in a row, then every round after, you will take one exercise away, so the rounds will get shorter and shorter. Don't worry, you will earn a little bit longer recovery in between rounds. Let's get to the exercises, right? We're gonna start with a bicycle crunch. Coming down onto the mat, you're gonna start by anchoring that low back into the floor and we're reaching your opposite shoulder to your opposite knee. So really focus on lifting through your shoulder rather than trying to get that elbow to your knee. Your option, you can bend your knees, keeping one heel on the ground at all times and work through your range of motion. 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. Then we go right into exercise two. Popping up off that mat, we're gonna take it into our high knees. Nice powerful movements as you're driving that knee up to hip height. Pumping those arms at the same time, your option. You can slow it down a little bit, take it into that nice powerful march. 10 seconds of rest after those 20 seconds of work, we're going to be back down on the ground. All right, so high plank position, we've got our push-ups. Make sure your hands are just outside your chest, right underneath those shoulders. Feet are shoulder width apart, straight line from that ear down to that ankle, keeping that core tight. Your option here, you drop it down to your knees, but still keep that straight line. You guessed it, we're coming right back up during those 10 seconds of rest. So take it into our jumping jacks. Elevating that heart rate, we're gonna explode those feet out as you're raising those arms overhead. If we're not jumping today, your option is to step it out and step it back in. We've got two more exercises, so we're back down on the mat again. This is our atomic running man. Stack those shoulders directly over top of your hands again, back to that same push-up position. Opposite knee to opposite elbow underneath that body. So nice, powerful motions here. Your option, you slow it down and you take one knee at a time. One more exercise in round number one. We're standing back up, getting into our standing set position for a pop squat. Sit down heavy in those heels, just like you're sitting in a chair. Now, when you pop up, 
You're gonna land on your toes to the side and then land softly back in that squat as you are facing forward. Again, if we are not jumping today, step it out, step it back in and drop into that squat. So this block, I know you're breathing hard right now, right? A Gonna be 11 minutes long. You start with those six exercises in a row. Round two, you drop off that pop squat. Round three, you drop off that pop squat and the atomic running man. And we'll continue that pattern until you get all the way down to just doing that bicycle crunch. Let's get ready to burn. Get this right, oh, I think we know what to do. Cause we're still young, so let's have fun. I'll make these nights last forever.
All right, John, are you ready to rock and row? I'm gonna let that go, let's do it. All right, this block is going to be endurance focus in relation to the rower. So thinking about utilizing those muscles that we would normally utilize on the rower during maybe that 1,000 or 2,000 meter benchmark row. First up, it's 10 minutes long. We have three exercises that we're gonna perform four rounds of, 12 reps of everything. Once we're done with those four rounds, we'll move on to two exercises to work through until time is called. You ready to get this party started? Let's do it. All right, so our first exercise is going to be a front-loaded squat, so grabbing two objects that weigh roughly the same amount in our standing set position, feet hip width apart, thighs tight, belly button to spine, shoulders are down and back two objects in front of our shoulders. From here, we're going down heavy in our heels, getting our quads parallel to the ground, driving straight up as we reset up at the top. Option, we can always limit that range of motion. After that, we're going right into some deadlifts. So in that same set, standing set position, this time the two objects are in right in front of our hips. We're gonna hinge at our hips, keeping our back nice and flat, scraping those two objects along our legs, and as we reset up at the top, really working that posterior chain. Option, limit your range of motion. Next exercise is going to be a hip hinge high row. So in that hinged position, back nice and flat, palms are faced behind. We're gonna bend our elbows out nice and wide, pinching our shoulder blades together, slow and controlled as we lower down and reset. Okay, those three exercises for four rounds. Once those four rounds are complete, we're gonna perform these next two exercises until time is called. First up is a jump squat. In that standing set position, we're going down heavy in our heels, quads parallel to the ground, exploding those feet up off the ground, just like you're exploding off the foot plates on the rower. After that, we are going right into a front loaded lunge grabbing a heavier object right in front of our chest. In that standing set position, we're stepping forward, bending that knee about 90 degrees as we reset back up at the top, alternating for a total of 12 reps for the last two exercises. Let's get this party started. Shit. 
will keep pushing on, keep bettering myself Beat every obstacle, I don't need no one's help Cause I'm fighting for what I'm working towards And I'm aiming on the stars And I didn't give up everything to only get this far Can't stop me now Yeah, yeah, cause I'm just beginning Can't stop me now I'm gonna push past the limits No way that I'm gonna let nobody try to take me down Can't stop me now Can't stop me now Can't stop me ooh. My blood, sweat, tears, my life with this, uh So I'm gonna show them all I don't get what they say Cause I'm fighting for what I'm working towards And I'm aiming on the stars And I didn't give up everything to only get this far Can't stop me now Yeah, yeah, cause I'm just beginning Can't stop me now I'm gonna push past the limits No way that I'm gonna let nobody try to take me
we are going to focus on that core. This is an endurance focus with a little bit of a higher rep count, four total exercises for two full rounds. We're going to start seated again on a towel, carpet, something soft so that we can pat ourselves underneath as we work through these exercises. And we've got a suitcase there. Andrew, why don't you go ahead and grab that to add a little bit of a challenge. Holding that suitcase right at your chest, seated on the ground, feet are shoulder width apart, plant those heels nice and firm. We're gonna roll ourselves down to the ground and then drive those heels in and sit all the way back up. So this is a full sit up with a little bit of an added challenge, having that weight glued to your chest. Doing this for 15 total reps. Of course, as an option, you're gonna come up just as high as you can or you can always take that suitcase out of it. Our second exercise, actually, do you want to keep that challenge going? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's keep it glued to our chest again, going right into a seated torso rotation. So leaning back just slightly, Angela's going to keep that core nice and tight, holding onto that suitcase at her chest. Go ahead and start twisting to the side. There you go, rotating through that torso. Notice that our he heels are staying nice and grounded, toes to the ceiling. Make sure we're breathing as we're going through that exercise. We've got 20 total here, 10 to each side. Again, your option, you can go ahead and set that suitcase down. We are done with those for right now. We're going to get into our high plank position. So go ahead and get your shoulders stacked directly over top of those wrists. Feet are going to be about hip width apart. Actually take them just a little bit wider inch so we can work through stabilizing those hips as we work through our pull through. That's perfect. So using that object next to you looks like your makeup bag. You're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and use that to pull through underneath the body. So opposite hand reaches under, pulls through, sets it down, and then we switch to the other side. Notice how stable Angie's hips are. So we're not moving at all. Anti-rotation there is what we're focused on. As an option, you can always drop down to your knees if you need to. We're going to work through again 20 total here, 10 to each side. Nice job. Our last exercise, you can actually go ahead and move your makeup bag to the side. We're laying all the way down, not taking a break just yet. Fingertips at your ears, elbows are gonna be out to the side. We're working through a back extension. So feet are still hip width apart, toes are grounded. And then as you raise your back towards the ceiling, you're gonna pause and then control it on the way back down. So again, we're tightening through the whole back side of that body, really, really stabilizing at the top and then releasing ourselves back down to the ground your option here. You can always reduce that range of motion. We've got 15 total. Now it's your turn for two rounds. Yeah. 
It is time to cool it down after all that hard work. We've got a six minute hip and back flexibility cool down block for you. We're gonna start seated position for a seated straddle stretch. You're gonna open your legs to a comfortable angle and keep your torso nice and tall up out of the hips. Hinging forward, keeping your chest nice and tall, reaching as far as you can before you lose your posture. Set your hands down. We're gonna stay here for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna switch to the opposite side. Same thing, chest tall, reach down towards your toes as far as you can go and hold for 20 seconds. Finally, we're gonna spend 20 seconds in the center, walking your hands out, keeping your chest nice and tall. From here, we're gonna move to a seated body twist. So you're gonna cross one leg over the opposite leg, Back of the hand goes to the back of the knee and you're slowly gonna rotate open, keeping your chest tall and your body wiggled up. From here, 20 seconds, and then we'll switch sides. Next, we're gonna take it to a figure four. So lying flat on your back, you're gonna cross one knee so that the ankle is over the opposite knee. Thread your hands through to the back of the thigh and pull in nice and slow until you feel a stretch through the backs of the legs. 20 seconds on one side, and then we'll switch 20 seconds to the other side. Now we're gonna move into a supine hip opener. So we're flat on our back, pulling one knee in, getting a nice stretch through the backs of the legs, 20 second hold here. We're gonna then open up the opposite arm into a T for support and let our knee fall to the side, making sure our shoulders stay flat to the mat. 20 second hold, and then we're gonna switch back to center, switch arms to the T and let the knee fall to the opposite side of the floor, watching your shoulders, 20 seconds here. Our final stretch is gonna be the happy baby. So you're gonna lay flat on your back with your back nice and flat and your belly button pulled in. Reach towards the tops of the toes and open them up just slightly. If you'd like, you can add a little motion, rocking side to side and massaging the lower back. All right, you've earned that stretch. Let's get to it. Taking chances. Just a little more glancing, a little more, more advancing. Just a little more dancing, a little more less for granted. Just a little more dancing, a little more dancing Haven't found the one and that's alright Do it for the fun and that's alright Stay out till the sun and that's alright Knew it would lead to something Knew it would lead to something Knew it would lead to something 
Such good trouble, can I explore with you? No, I can't wait to see what love is to It's true cliche, but that's cause it's the truth No, I can't wait to get so close to you Just a little more dancing, a little more taking chances Just a little more glancing, a little more more advancing Just a little more dancing, a little more less for granted Just a little more dancing, a little more dancing Dancing. 